So my name's Tanum Shaw and we're at UNSW and today I'm going to work through question 31 on the algebra section of the Math 1131 problem set. So this question is asking us to find the coordinate vector for this displacement vector AB and also to give the parametric vector form for the line that goes through the points AB. Now I've written up part one which is um, in two dimensions and part two is actually in three dimensions. So if we draw a picture of what's going on, then we have our two dimensions here. A is the point one, two, and B is the point two, seven, and our origin's over here. The point one, two, we associate with this coordinate vector, zero, um, O A, and we often write that as a lowercase a, the vector with the lowest lowercase a, and in column form, that's the vector 1, 2. Similarly, b at 2, 7 is normally associated with this coordinate vector, O, B, and we often write lowercase b, the vector lowercase b, and in column form, that's the vector 2, 7. Okay, so this is two across in the i direction and seven in the j direction, if you like. This is the i direction. We wouldn't normally write it like this, but this is, let's say, the j direction. The question is asking us for this vector a, b. So we want to know what this vector a, b is here. So the vector a, b, well, that's the position vector of B minus the position vector of A, right? That makes sense because that vector A plus this vector AB using the triangle law for addition gives me this vector B. So that's where this comes from here. So what is the vector B? Well, that's 2, 7. And the vector A is 1, 2. So when we subtract them, we get 2 minus 1 is 1, 7 minus 2 is 5. So AB is the vector 1, 5. That makes sense because that's 1 across in the I direction, 5 in the J direction. That's how we get from A to B. Now, the second part of the question is asking us for the parametric vector form of the line through the points A and B. So we want this line here. We want to know what its equation is. Might just delete this black line here. Okay, now any point on this line, let's say x, we want to know what's its position vector? What does the position vector for any point on that line look like? Well, the position vector for any point on that line well, that just looks like the position vector for a point on the line, let's say A, plus a small bit of a vector parallel, right? That's a scalar multiple. We want a scalar multiple of a vector parallel to the line. Well, AB is parallel to the line. So really, we want the position vector for a point on the line plus a scalar multiple of a line parallel to this line through AB. So if we write that down, we have any point on the line, any vector, the position vector for any point on the line, looks like a point that it passes through, the vector for the point that it passes through, plus a scalar multiple of a vector parallel to the line. So here, a point on the line is 1, 2. We could use 2, 7, that's also a point on the line, plus a scalar multiple of AB, 1, 5, because that's parallel to the line. And we have to be clear here, it's a scalar multiple, so the lambda must be a real number for this to be a scalar multiple. So this is the parametric, this is the parametric vector form for the line that passes through AB. Any point on that line looks like 
1, 2, plus a scalar multiple of 1, 5. Now in part 2, we have two points but in three dimensions. But the solution works pretty much the same. So here, in part 2, this point A with coordinates 1, 2, minus 1, we associate with the position vector OA, or lowercase a, the vector lowercase a, and the column form is 1, 2, minus 1, like this. B has these coordinates, and we associate that point B with the position vector OB, which we write in column form, minus 1, minus 1, 5. So when they ask us for the vector AB, that's the position vector of the tip minus the position vector of the tail. So here, that's minus 1, minus 1, 5, and we're subtracting 1, 2, minus 1. This gives us minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2 is minus 3, and 5 subtract minus 1 is 6. So the vector AB is the column vector minus 2 minus 3, 6. So now we want the parametric vector form of the line through AB. So any point on the line through AB looks like a point on the line plus a scalar multiple of a vector parallel to the line. So A is on the line because it's going through AB and AB is parallel to the line, well, because AB is the line anyway. So, um, the vector A is 1, 2, minus 1, plus a scalar multiple of AB, which is minus 2, minus 3, 6. So, don't forget, lambda is a real number because it's a scalar multiple. So, any point on the line AB, although the line through AB um, is a point on the line plus a scalar multiple of a vector parallel to the line. 